let us have notes about the differential amplifier. Here is the first one. The two transistors M1 and M2 must be in the saturation region and conducting at all times. The question is why? The answer is very simple. In the saturation region, the two transistors are behaving as amplifiers. To use the circuit as amplifier, transistors have to be in the saturation region. This way for small voltage in VGS leads to a large current in ID which gives you a larger voltage gain. Right? That's the basic concept of amplifier as we discussed it in earlier lectures that you have to make sure that the transistors are in the saturation region. Otherwise, the circuit does not behave as good amplifier and the output signal become distorted and nonlinear. Here is the second note. Vout1 and Vout2 must be less than VDD at all times. Otherwise, the signal clips. And that is a problem. Now the question is why the signal will clip? We discussed this before. The signal will clip because the current through the drain of the transistor must always go down. Otherwise the transistor will be off. That means the voltage at the drain has to be lower than the voltage at VDD so that the current through the resistor RD will flow down by Ohm's law. You see why? Otherwise, the current through the resistor will be zero because the transistor prevents the current from flowing up. You see, so V out will clip if V out 1 or V out 2 is higher than VDD. It cannot get any higher than VDD. Here is the third note. V out 1 and V out 2 must be greater than VGS minus the threshold voltage so that neither transistor moves to the triode region. Right? Because VDS must be greater than VGS minus the threshold voltage. That's the condition of saturation. This has to be true at all times. Here is the next note. In general, Biasen both transistors using one current source is used in practice. So the way we bias the circuit is we use one current source as shown in the circuit here. So in this circuit you can see that the source of M1 and M2 are connected together into one current source. Since both transistors are identical the same DC current flow through both transistors. Also, the DC output voltages of both transistors are equal. The reason is because both DC currents through both transistors are the same and these two currents will flow through RD. That means the DC voltages at the output are equal. So the question is how do we implement this current source? Well the implementation of the current source is very easy to do. The way we do it is the current source is implemented using one single transistor. Basically the current source is a transistor that is properly biased to give ISS. We can show you here in this circuit that here is the transistor M3 which is biased at a particular voltage such that ISS will flow through this transistor we called it M3 and because the two transistors are identical and if the DC components of V1 and V2 are equal, so the DC components are equal, they must be equal, then the currents will flow equally through M1 and M2, and we call in them here to be ISS over 2 that will flow through M1, and ISS over 2 that is also will flow through M2. 
So the same DC bias and current will flow through these two transistors. They will merge together and they will give us IS to flow through the bias.